Hey there, welcome to Technability. I have a Galaxy Note 2 running on CM 10.2 4.3. So that's Android Jelly Bean 4.3. It's complete bone stock, of course, with all the CM bells and whistles and all the extra added functionality and uh, customization that you're gonna get with CyanogenMod. So right off the bat, a lot of guys are gonna be wondering, or a lot of you are gonna be wondering about S Pen functionality. It's not available. Uh, third party app, I don't know. Well, you may, be, you may be able to download third party apps that have S Pen functionality, but in terms of baked into the OS, it's not there, or at least it's not there yet. If you guys are looking for a stock experience that has S Pen features, check out Paranoid Android. Uh, other than that, if you guys are wondering if it's stable, it's not fully stable yet. There are some issues. There's some force close issues. There's some issues of crashes and other minor bugs. For the most part, it's usable. But it's not as, you know, definitely not as stable as 4.2.2. Now here's another issue that I want to talk to you guys about. When you first flash this ROM, if you're interested, I'll post a link below, it's all up to you. Uh, if you want to flash this ROM, the first thing you want to do is update Google search. Because if you don't, anytime you click on this microphone right here, it's going to crash, it's going to force close, and the same could be said uh, when you try to do voice to text. So first thing you want to do is go to the Play Store and update Google Search. Simple process. Uh, it takes no more than maybe 10 seconds. All right, let's check out the camera here. Okay, now this is what I wanted to emphasize with the camera. You see how it says can't connect to the camera? The reason why is because with CM's camera, Focal, uh, when you try to access the flurry of features that are available on this camera, it force closed, and after force closing, it basically stopped uh, any you know functionality with the stock camera. So you can see it says can't connect to the camera. The only way to get rid of that is most likely to restart your phone. Now you could try to uh, force close out of it through apps. You could try to do that, but it usually doesn't solve the issue. Normally, when you have an issue like that with the camera, with CM builds, uh, you got to restart your phone. Now, if any of you guys know any other way, hey, let us know. You know, there may be another way, a simpler way than having to restart your phone. That's good to know. But FYI, you know, that, that issue is here. Again, it's part of the bugs that you're going to get. Otherwise, if you want to hear about what actually works, everything else for the most part works. I mean, you're going to make calls. You're going to be able to text. You have, obviously, all the launcher options. you got home screen options, the grid size, home screen, default screen, transition effects. Obviously, you could change that. Fade screen, uh, etc. Dock features. So you could change the amount of icons you have in the dock. Uh, general, which is basically just auto rotation, lock home screen. Obviously, you have themes, which you could download in the Play Store. Various amount of free themes. You could check that out if you want to make your phone look like Sense or TouchWiz or any other customized theme, they're available. Uh, lock screen features obviously are available, including face to unlock, which has been available for a while, a while now, but just to let you guys know, it is there. So if you go to screen lock, face unlock, and, and here's a little bug with face unlock. If you have a picture of the person who owns the phone, uh, you can unlock their phone. So yeah, not, I'm, I'm, people already know that by now, but just just thought that's fairly funny. You could just have a picture of them, go, go through their yearbook and you know take their senior picture. Uh, you got system options, which again, uh, similar to what you're gonna get with previous iterations of Cyanogen Mod. If you're not familiar with it, it's basically a multitude of different customizations. CM is easily the most customizable stock Android experience on the market. All right, you got options for everything, and that includes the quick settings panel. You can add things here, you can remove things there. You can add toggles to the notification bar. Uh, you got power menu options, which are which is basically this so you can put recovery custom recovery in there uh, you can put all sorts of different uh, options in the power menu you got notification light customizations you can change the colors of your notification light and whatnot uh, battery light hardware keys um, and you can enable custom ac actions for hardware keys so there's a ton of different features here with Cyanogen mod which is what makes it really uh, the appealing stock experience because it takes what stock does and let me show you guys just an idea of how the Google Play edition is for example all right so it takes bone stock, which doesn't have any of those features, doesn't have any of those customizations, and it adds, you see that interface right there, it adds all those features. So you got launcher, lock screen, themes, and system. And with HC1, which has just a Google Play edition of 4.3, but you don't have any of that. So uh, it adds all of those bells and whistles, which a lot of people like, some people don't. They like something to just work right out of the box, and that's great. Uh, you do get developer options as well, of course, and performance options. So if you want to underclock your phone, you want to put it to performance mode, which will speed it up, uh, you could do that. Uh, you also have memory management, surface improvement, um, and of course, in order to access developer mode, you gotta go to about phone and just keep pressing build number. Here's another bug for all you guys wondering. If you do go into about phone, do not keep tapping SE Linux status right down there. If you do, 
you're gonna have to pull the battery out, it completely freezes your phone. A hard reset won't even work, you gotta actually remove the battery. So just letting you guys know of all the little minor bugs, so you know in advance and you know what you're getting yourself into if you do decide to flash this ROM. All right, you can see you can customize the lock menu here. Uh, you can customize these shortcuts as you so please. You swipe your finger over to the right, you got the widgets. Swipe your finger over to the left, you got the camera, which isn't gonna work. Okay, you can see it's not gonna work. I open it because it already crashed. So again, the only way to re-access the camera would be to restart the phone. If you're wondering about quality, it's the same as you're gonna get with any previous build of CM10. Now in terms of Focal, Focal is CM's camera, as is Apollo, their music player. Focal is great. You got a ton of features with it. If it worked, it would be good. Uh, but for the most part, it's, it's, it's really feature friendly, feature filled ton of different things, a ton of different options. I'm not really that big of a camera whiz, so I don't know what most of those things do. But for all you guys who are, uh, you do get a lot of features with Focal. It makes up for what you're lacking with TouchWiz. A lot of people want to keep TouchWiz for the camera features. Focal gives you a ton of them. File Manager, obviously, is CM's uh, file manager. Of course, it's named uh, accordingly, File Manager. Uh, you can see the messaging application here in terms of the keyboard. Huge keyboard on a five inch screen, and I can't really type them. Hey, what's going on? What are you doing today? Let's go hang out. Do you want to go to Hollywood where it's really nice weather? That sentence didn't make sense, but I'm going to keep talking anyway because it's typing as I'm speaking. You see how that works? Navigate to Burbank, California. Navigating to Burbank. All right, simple. Uh, GPS locks in. What is 6 times 6 minus 2 times 3 to the second power? See that black, you know, you see that there's another bug right there for you guys. Keeping it real, keeping it live, want to be, tra again, transparent, honest with you guys about what you're getting yourself into. Uh, in terms of stability, it's not fully there. It's an unofficial build, guys, so it's not fully there. But in terms of just calling, texting, emails, you know, social networking, for the most part, it's functional. But is it enough of a difference or enough of an upgrade to switch from stable CM 10.1, 4.2.2 to this build? Uh, no, not yet, at least. And I say that with uh, a lot of confidence. When it gets to the point where it is more stable for the Note 2, then I would suggest installing it. Now, the HTC One and the Galaxy S4 do have fairly stable builds. The Note 2 tends to generally sometimes be somewhat behind when it comes to updated CM builds. But again, CM 10.1 is a fantastic ROM. I have a great video of it on our channel, guys. Check that out. It's very stable. Everything works. And in terms of functionality, again, you're going to get, you know, regular functionality with this build on the Note 2, but it's just not fully stable yet for day-to-day -day use. You're going to deal with a lot of issues, and that might cause subtle headaches. All right, so anyways, if you guys have any questions or concerns, again, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments section. Uh, don't forget to check out our uh, website, www.technability.com. Again, go ahead and follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash technability. Also, like us on Facebook. I'll post a, a page below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching Technability. I'm Berge. Have yourself a safe week.